Hi friends, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a blinged out castle. So the first thing I did is I bought this wooden castle from Michaels, it was unfinished. I then mixed two different colors together of acrylic paint and painted the entire castle. I then sprayed it with a, a glitter finish um, and then followed that up with a sealant. So now what I want to do is I want to add little pieces of uh, blingy jewelry. Here's an example of something I've made in the past. It's a treasure chest that I painted and I put a bunch of these shiny uh, crystals, I hot glued them on. But this time I don't want to use hot glue because it's very messy um, and you can burn yourself. So um, I'm going to use again the same type of uh, packaging of these are stickers. They're called uh, bling stickers and they are craft smart also from Michaels. But I'm going to use this. Gorilla, gorilla glue? Yeah, super glue. I think that's going to be safer for me to not burn myself and it should adhere fine, but we will find out because I haven't done this before. I also have these pearls I'm thinking of adding, but not sure yet. The other thing I have is a bag full of these little cheap gems I got from a, a, a different craft store. And so I started to put some on the edges here, just kind of look and see what I wanted to do. I kind of like this clustering here in the corners. And then I was going to, at the top here, put one of these crystals each. And I'll probably have to go out and buy more in order to get all, of, all around this castle. So I'm just kind of winging it. I don't really know how I want it to look, but I'm thinking of putting crystals over the arches of the windows the tops of the, the, the castle itself, and a little bit of clustering around the bottom here. So that's what I'm thinking for now. But we'll see how it, it ends up. So here we go. And I'm gonna stand up to see this. I'm gonna take the same view as you guys. supposed to have a brush also but I don't see it oh there you go I could use this as a brush too which I might try that but this is so small that actually that's probably not a good idea so these came with little adhesives on them but if you've ever tried to use these I mean they're barely adhesives that's why we have to use something stronger or this was gonna fall right off so let me try with one of these. I would rather, I'd rather have these without the adhesive since it doesn't work anyways. Okay. So it's just a little bit of tiny bit of glue on there. I'm gonna tap Gorilla Glue here. And let's see how it looks, let's see how it adheres. I'm not really sure because, because I put a glitter finish on this wooden castle, it's kind of grainy, so. seems to be holding pretty good. So I'll just continue. Just 
these tweezers and take this off. Gonna switch it up. We are going to use the brush and now that's too much, so no, we're not gonna do that. That's a disaster waiting to happen. So I could I could try brushing this glue on and then adhering the pieces, but then there would be extra glue that's not being used, unless I'm very specific. Yeah. That's not going to work either. Just for kicks, I'm gonna try to just use the sticker that comes with it. So it shifts around a little bit. This one here is eh, moving a little bit, but this is still feeling loose. If this was bought for a child, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust that these would stay on for very long. You're wonder, wondering why I don't use these tweezers to also place these gems. I've tried that before. It does not work. So it'll just pop right out of the tweezers. It would be easier to do this without gloves, but this is not something you want on your skin though. Pretty positive I'd end up gluing my fingers together anyways so don't want that
what I want to try after this pink castle is to create one that is like under the sea, like Atlantis castle, um, and do some really cool purple and turquoise and green like ocean colors and put um, shells on it. Glue some little shells on there. I think that's going to look pretty cool. But it's going to take time because this one took a few days to do because I do two coats of paint and it has to dry or I like it to dry and then I have to spray it and I have to wait for that to dry and then I spray it again with sealant and it took about four ounces of paint and it so that's a lot of paint uh, for me at least so it takes time it's fun I enjoy doing it but it's still time consuming so to do another one will be something I'll try to do the next few weeks I could also see doing this castle like a spooky castle being a lot of fun as well for Halloween. Maybe painting it black and the inside orange and putting um, decaying ghosts inside there or monsters. That'd be pretty cool. I like the options that you can think of, the creativity you can apply to this wooden castle. And customize it however you want to. My idea here was just to make a really princessy type of castle with lots of bling and glitter. Let's see if somebody will like it. If you're wondering how much this castle cost at Michael's, it was $25. And I'll show you it opens up. It's actually quite cool for playing. Um, I have one, a traditional gray one I, um, that you, know, you could put little action figures in and stuff. Here's the last piece of my cluster of gems at the bottom. 
or blingy figures. So this was the one here that I believe I did not use super glue on. But it seemed to be adhering pretty good. So I'll check it. I'll probably check it tomorrow to see if these are, are sticking on. All right, so there's my little cluster. Now I'm going to use these ones, bling stickers. kind of got a color changing rainbow effect. I'll take a picture of this in the sun and you'll can really see how the spray I use like a, this diamond spray Krylon by Krylon and it's just adds sparkle all over um, and the sunshine is pretty cool. All right, so like I said, I'm probably gonna have to go out and buy more because I think these little ones will fit in each of these tops here. And these also have a sticky material adhered, but it doesn't have a piece of paper that I have to peel off, which is kind of nice. So I could just stick them on, but I just don't trust that these are going to stay as long unless I use some super glue. So, because this is so delicate, I'm going to try to just put the glue first, which means I have to also make sure to center it. just to kind of get it into place, press it down so it's flat. That shifted pretty easily, which makes me nervous. These ones are much better at just sticking. We'll have to see. dries pretty fast. So that's how it's looking. Like little diamonds. mat I have. So let's see if I can speed this up. This might be a little sketchy. But I'm going to see if I can do two at once.
that side is done. I think that looks pretty. Very, very glamorous, this castle. That's right, friends, it's Sunday. Don't get me wrong, I love football too. But I also like doing crafts and I don't have a lot of time to do this. So Sunday seems to be the best day for me. And basically every other Sunday. So I have to <clears throat> do my craft. Sometimes I have to prep it days in advance. And then um, I shoot the video on a Sunday and then the editing takes me a while because I'm not so good in iMovie at the moment. But I'm trying to get better. I will be editing these videos down so you probably won't even hear me talking right now. I was making crafts before and then decided why not make crafts for Etsy and then while I was doing that and of course I was trying different things and not really liking the quality that I was creating so I you know didn't I don't have a lot on my Etsy store but while I am learning and practicing I thought why not shoot video of it and share the successes and failures that come with trying to do something new and you know that way this time is acting as double duty and practicing possibly making a product that I feel is something I can put on Etsy and also sharing the journey with you because up until the pandemic I had not done crafts before. No experience. But I spent a lot of time at Michael's <laughs> and a lot of money at Michael's during lockdown to find things to do to help with, you know, the, the stress that comes with being locked down. And found that although I'm not a super like talented artist or anything like that, I could still channel creativity into different projects and find the things that I enjoy. Like I really like painting birdhouses. I like painting rocks. I like all that stuff. I love painting on wood, especially. I love the way the, the, the wood just soaks up the paint. Oopsies. Oh, I might have to put more glue there. Let's see. So back to my journey here, um, the, the stress of being in lockdown, you know, you don't want to be indoors either because you want to get outside while you can when the weather's nice. And so I was finding crafts I could do out in the backyard. I really discovered it was relaxing. It was, I could be there for hours and time would just pass so fast. So I always want to incorporate crafts into my life somehow. 
because it is stress relief. It's a form of therapy, I always say, just like animals can be therapy. I think crafts can be therapy or just being creative in general. Whether you're, you know, writing or painting or drawing or creating models or you know, even creating computer programs. Just being creative and doing your own thing is good for your brain. All right. Okay, that's looking pretty good, I think. Let's see if I can do this. Oh. Yep, so that's how it's looking. It's gonna look pretty cool in the sun. Not that you would be necessarily playing with your dollhouse or castle outside, but hey, you never know. All right, so I'm gonna take a break and then I'll come back and um, figure out what I wanna do for the arches of the windows. If I wanna truly use pearls or maybe I wanna just continue using the same materials here. See you shortly.